it's an early morning visit back down to the harbour the uh, cruise ships are in when I was here the other night they were all out working on the lakes the uh, beach volleyballs finished it's clear up time all the sand's being removed Yeah, these are the old boats. They are very nice to go out on. In the evening, in a beautiful evening, let's take a quick look over here at what's left of the volleyball. Pillar there working away. Lots of sand to get rid of. This the stands they used. It's a bit empty, doesn't it? Just another weekday morning. The morning walk continues and down at the beach. Ice cream, changing rooms, toilets, beach, swimming area, diving board is over there. There's a sauna and there's a, uh, what do they call those swimming clubs? go on all year long, break the ice, I've forgotten, anyway, I'm sure you know. Here's a plan of the area, why no land near me? Beach, stadium, pubs, clubs, paths, Lots of trees. Where are we right now? Where it says Oletasa, that's where we are. Wima Alloway, a swing area. And in relation to the rest of the world, there you are, that's where we are exactly. Your city centres up here, that's where we are right now, and heading down to this little island here and this one, Rona. And uh, what's the other one? Arvisari. Go take a look. It's quite nice down there. Might as well have a little bit of a bimble down the beach while I'm here. Beach bum, ex beach bum. So quiet here in the morning. It gets a bit busy in the weekends when the sun's shining and temperatures rise. Got a few gulls down here. What it looks like over that way. Diving board, changing rooms, etc., and a sauna. It's just a small lakeside beach. Here's a view back towards the city of Corpio. There's a swimming area over there. The cruise ship harbour over there. Bit of construction work going on. 
It can hear me over there. There used to be a big factory over there, but it's closed down now. Someone passing by going for their morning run. Beautiful, isn't it? And in the background there, there's the Puyo Hill, the Puyo Tower, and the ski jumps. It's all within very easy walking distance. Very walkable, this city. So, back to Renault. Athletics tracks over there. Morning runner. Right, let's go over the bridge. It's an extremely popular thing to do over here is you know, go for your morning walk morning bike ride, morning run, maybe do it again in the evening. There's so many trails, it's a great place. All right, this is the, uh, the bridge over to the island of Runner. Many years ago it used to be just a wooden bridge for pedestrians and cyclists with a raised section in the middle so boats could get underneath. Then this appeared and this construction work started. Ooh, bright light. Let's look that way. It's quite busy, relatively speaking. Stadium's just there. The development down at Pettenen is over that way. around this side besides a lot of sunlight. Yeah. Oh, that's as far as I go, it's shooting right to the sun. Over in the distance, you can see a bridge and a road. That was built a few years ago. It's one of several bridges and causeways which link Corpio to several of the islands and then on to the pattern and development down that way. So it's a quite a sizable urban area developing out there in the lake. Saristo Kalponki. Island town. It's a nice drive. Alright, I'm about to get run over. That's the view back across the bridge towards the city. All right, let's get onto the island. All right, I've made it onto Runner. One of the original houses is down there on the end. Little yellow one with a red roof. I think all these houses are one-offs. There's another of the original houses up there. Is it focusing? Yes, it is. Yeah. Bit of garden work going on. Big hedge. Lots of individual designs. Maybe they come out of a catalogue, I don't know. There's some nice modern designs. I think there was a guy back there sweeping up hedge trimmings said something rather interesting to me. Sounded like, go back home. <laughs> Very pleasant. 
Not what I expect here in Finland at all. Here's another of the old buildings. It's good that a few have survived. Finished design. Some of the houses are still uh, building sites, work in progress. But, you know, pleasant place. Maybe some of the neighbours are a bit racist, but you know. Mm. Right, I've survived the walk across Rono. Here's a look back at it. Mailboxes, parking spots, some nice designs. And time for some more boats. This is how the little bridges used to be before they started replacing them all with modern bridges you can drive over. So, a pontoon. Yeah, nice house, boat in your back garden. Root beds. The parking space is back there people heading out onto the lake. More their boats here and head off to their summer cottages. There's Corpio city centre over there with the Puyo. Uh, zoom in. All very walkable. Bit of a chill in the air this morning. Even some leaves falling the other day. We've got a few more weeks of summer though. Don't panic. Ah. Oh, very nice stuff. Teddy bear in the boat. There's a look back. And I think that's it for this morning. I might pop into the market hall again, have a look, see through there, see what's going on. See if there's a few more people about, a bit more activity. But that's Lakeside Corpio for you. Very nice.